I have the covariant cluster using the using the COPS method. Let's start whether cluster is running or not. Cluster is running with the one master and one worker node. Let's install the Helm 3. So let us version is the Helm 3. Let's install the Helm 3 on Kubernetes Corpse cluster. So download the Helm dot sh file, change the permission. Run the Helm script. Let's check the Helm version. Command is Helm hyphen version. So version is 3.5 and 3. Next. We have to install the Nginx ingress controller on Kubernetes Corps using Helm 3. So this is the officially Helm repository for the Kubernetes for Nginx ingress. Let's add this repo. Okay, Nginx repo is added in a Kubernetes. Let's update the Helm repo. Command is Helm repo update. Then install the latest Nginx Ingress controller on Kubernetes using the Helm. Command is Helm install. We have to give the name Ingress Nginx. This is a Official Helm chart. Okay. It is searching the Helm chart. So here we are ordered the engineers in base Helm charts. Here we got the instruction. So name is in English engineers. Status is deployed. In which namespace already we have seen that if we not specify any namespace, it installed in the default namespace. Status is deployed. The actor here is instruction is, is given. The ingress engineering controller has been installed. It may take a few minutes for the load balancer IP to be available. You can check ingress by using this command kubectl namespace default get services using the ingress engineers control. If you want, here we have to create a nginx resources, whatever we have the microservices, we have to add in the ingress resource file. So here instruction is given how we can create an ingress resources. Okay, in Nginx ingress, here this is the syntax is given. API version, we have to use a networking KTS IO, V1, beta 1, kind is the ingress. We have to give the metadata name and annotation kubernetes.io ingress class. Here we have to give the Nginx. We have to give the name, namespace. Then we have the to add the microservices. Here we have to give the host name, ht path. We have to give the path of code. Then service name. We have to create the deployment and service and service name. Here we have to add. And here we can give the port number, path. Then if you want to using the TLS, we can add the TLS host. Okay. So our instruction is given by the engineering helm chart okay we can add the secrets tls like this let's check 
Angelis Ingres is running or not? Using the command. Kubectl get services ingress nginx controller. Okay. Here you can see that we got one load balancer. Load balancer type is load balancer. And this is a AWS classic load balancer UI. Okay. And exports in 80 and 443 port. Okay. So let's create a Deployment for Nginx app and Node.js app. Okay. Let's create a deployment for the Nginx web server. This is my deployment file. Let's create a deployment environment. Kindly deployment API version name Nginx web default namespaces default selectors and labels. Here we are giving the container name Nginx, pulling the image Nginx. Let's save this file. Let's create a service environment for the Nginx web server. Find the service deployment name is matching for namespace. Both target port and port we have to expose 80. Let's send this file. Let's deploy the deployment and service file in the Kubernetes cluster. So let's create a, one more application for the Node.js. This is Node.js deployment. And the deployment. So previously we had the Docker image engineering. So here we have added the, our AWS ECI repository. Okay. We have to go to the AWS, search the ECR. Click on this your repository, Node.js app. So here we have different images. So we are putting, picking this latest image. Click on the copy URL. Here we have put this in the deployments. In the image section. Okay. So we have in the while creating the Docker file, we have exposed our image using the default Node.js port that is 3000. Okay. So here we have to mention the what is the container port 3000. Let's create a service for Node.js app. Okay. Deployment and service should match default namespace. Target port is the our container port 3000. And on which port we have to export? AP port. Let's save this YML. Let's apply the Node.js deployment and service. Then we have to create a Nginx resource to add the all the microservices details and to expose the microservices. Let's create an English resource for the Nginx Ingress. Already we have 
have seen this instruction. Just we are adding the our microservices details. So here kind is English. Name is Nginx English default namespace. Here we have the English class is Nginx. Okay, this will be different for the depend upon our English. So here we are using the Nginx. Okay. And now we are not using the SSL. So SSL tag is false. So we are adding the first microservice in the host using the name base routing nginx app dot this is my domain name service is the here we have service should match nginx web port number is 80 path is root then we are adding the our custom sample node.js app node.js given the name node.js app okay and my domain name then service is a node.js app port is 80 okay and default path is a root let's save this engine is in this Let's apply this Angelis Ingress resource. Okay. Now let's check the power service and Ingress. Ports are running for Nginx and Node.js app. Let's check the deployment. Deployment is also running. Let's check the service. Service is also running. Nginx and Node.js. We we'll check the English command is good detail. Command is kubectl get ingress. Okay. Ingress is running. Name is nginx ingress. And we have ordered the two microservices. And we can use the one load balancer URL or on port 80. Okay. To access using the name base, let me log into the our domain name provider. Yes, what meant guys? Let me log into the code domain name provider. Okay, I have logged to the GoDaddy. Let me go my domain name. Here, click on Add Records. Select the C name. Okay. 
So here having, so we have created the two microservices. So for one microservice giving the name Nginx app and URL, I have to copy this load balancer URL. Set detail 600 second. Same for the Node.js app. Same load balancer IP I can use. Same load balancer IP. Time is 600 seconds, save this. Okay. Let's wait for some time. So let's access microservices using the domain name. First is the Nginx app. My domain name. Okay, first microservices accessing. Let's access second microservices. Okay, so second microservices also accessing. So we are using using the engine's ingress. 